Alright, I wanted to show off this really cool exchange game extension that we came up with yesterday. Um, it's amazing for practicing math facts. Um, so all you need is uh, the decanomial box. So I went ahead and I borrowed all of the uh, four beads, but this would work with anything. We, we tried it with, what did we do it with the three beads yesterday as well? So this is how you play. This is how you set it up. Um, go ahead and you work on your work. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So it's played just like a regular exchange game where you have each person sitting around. Um, you can play it independently or you can play it, we've played it with four people. Um, sometimes my kids play it with dolls. So you roll a dice or a die and you have two. So that's less than four, so you only take two. Then the next player rolls. One. Then the next one, six. So if the player is pretty young, they can just count out six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, and put them here. And then look and reevaluate. So I guess I'll just show you that. Can you shut the door, Mary? One, two, three, four five, six, and I'd probably have them count it out away from the speed, and then they can go put them all together and see how many fours they can pull out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They can exchange it for two, four beats. And then the next player plays. Five. Oh, Mary, I forgot to grab the um, squares and the cubes. Will you get those for me? Yeah. So five. So the next player, if they're maybe a little older or more advanced in math, they can just go ahead and say, well, I know that four, four and one, and I usually have them build it right next to the dice so it doesn't get mixed up. Four and one makes five. So they can put that together. Can I exchange it? No, I cannot. Next player goes. Four. Oh, I can just take four. Roll again. Five. I know that I can take a four and a one, but I still can't exchange this yet. Okay, Mary's gonna show you. Actually, at the beginning of the game, I go ahead and I set this up, I forgot to do it. I don't keep it on the tray because sometimes um, kids are working on the bead chains. So I wanna make sure that it's in our bead cabinet. Um, but I'll set this up so that they have an idea of what they're working toward, that four squares makes a cube and I guess I should have said at the beginning the object of the game is to build a cube so you have to make how many squares to make a four cube four, four. so all right so whose turn was I can't remember my turn or my turn what honey this one's 12 it was your turn 12 has one ten and two ones it was your turn. I know, but okay, I guess you can be playing. I was going to say I was playing myself. So, four and then I need two more. All right, go ahead, Mary. You can play. Five. And. Oh, and look, I can already check. Oh, then you're exchanging it already. My goodness. And I can check. Look, I already have one square. How many more squares will I need? One, two, three. Is it my turn to roll? Yeah. I've got one square too. Four. You do have one square. Okay. Go ahead. So it's really easy to play, and we you can play it with anything up to the ten beads. It works great. Eighteen. Eighteen. Two. Oh, I can exchange it. All right. Go ahead. Yes, that's right. Anyone? Can you exchange it? Mm -hmm. You're on your way. Ah, one. Six. Good roll. Then I just need two. Oh, I can exchange it. Mm -hmm. What is the baby doing? Um, he, Michael's telling him a long story. Oh, wow. Well, he'll be busy for a while. So I know I can take a five, a four, and a one. What is me? No. Why? One is me? No. 
I don't get this one. Mm -hmm. This is, oh, you're missing, you're missing a square. Oh, oh here it is. One, oh. mm. So three squares of three makes a cube of nine, right? Yeah, but it, this one is that, and this one is here. Yeah. yeah, there's 27. So, go ahead, Mary, is it my turn or yours? Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can do this, look. There's one, and then three more. Makes one, two, three. Another one, 18. And then three more makes what? 27. And all together, you have 27. Stack them, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I'm on it. Okay, your turn. All right. Am I on it? Um, sure. Put it away, though. Thank you. Are you getting beads for me? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, go ahead and roll. Six. Ooh, good one. One. It's my turn. Two, three, six. Is he crying? Five, six. Okay, okay Mom, your turn. Josie, would you check on him for me? He sounds like he's just whining. Three. Oh, I can't. Was that three? All right, awesome. My turn. Six. This is a long video, but it does take a lot of time, doesn't um, it? Yeah. So four, five, six. Wait, and you can exchange. I think people get the idea, though, huh? You may have to end it and grab the baby. Nice work. Oh, we're so close to finishing this. Not if I keep rolling too, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Four. All right, go ahead. Six. I think you might win. Oh, he sounds unhappy. Okay, so you exchange that. So the idea of the game is to get, you know, they can check it at the end, which is going to pretend like you did it for now. There and they can stack them all and check them, and then when they all four squares, they make the cube. Whoever makes the cube first wins the game. So Mary, I think you're gonna win. You can keep playing for me, but I gotta go grab Baby Will. He doesn't seem very happy. Okay. All right. And that is how you play with the fours, and you can play this with any set of beads um, in the Decanomial. It's awesome exchange game.